Hello, so I got something really stupid a couple weeks ago. I got this ACME Hellboy statue. Now the reason why I got this statue because I put a really stupidly low bid on him and the seller actually accepted it and he was serious about taking my offer. So I ran down to where he was to get him and yeah, I got him. <laughs> I couldn't believe how much I got them for. It's ridiculous. Now, if you guys are going to start collecting statues, fair warning is make sure you plan out your routes. I had to carry this thing around the mall, and this thing isn't. This thing is completely heavy and very, very hard to maneuver with. So make sure you know what you're doing when you're collecting these things. So after hauling this thing around the mall, I was really scared that something broke, but you know. Everything looked fine. The only thing broken was my pride, but you know, that's okay. So checking, checking, cause I looked at Gem Mint's video over this guy and usually the statue's head breaks off, but safe to say it's on and I'm happy for that. You can see rat here interrupting my video again. Uh, this is my first statue, my first Hellboy statue. Well, the first statue in general I got this is from the same uh, seller. And here I am again buying another Hellboy statue. <laughs> yeah. So let's assemble this unruly statue. So I have to balance this thing on the base, make sure nothing falls over. It, please don't do what I'm doing. This is very stupid, but I I really had no choice. So it this these things plug in very very easily. As you can see on his feet, there are like pegs. So you basically you know try to widget those things in and make sure they're in all the way. Uh, you could see me fumbling a bit here because uh, it's not just simply you know plug it in you have to angle the the feet as well so it's kind of tricky but once it's in it's in it's very sturdy next up we have his tail uh the i think the sideshow one i have is more rubbery than this this is more uh hard hard plastic well i don't know what's what, hard ceramic i don't think it's ceramic but it will break if you drop it that's what i'm saying so watch me how stupidly I maneuver this thing and basically there's a <laughs> well there's a hole in his butt and you just plug it in and he's good to go. Everything is magnetized so you don't have to worry about it falling. So that's his tail. Now I did have a few problems with his tail I'll show you guys later. Next up we have his uh, torso bit. Very comic-esque very very um you know cartoony like you can see here very heavy too I was I was really clutching this thing uh, one thing to note is these things will will break so please don't like when you're putting on the floor don't don't just simply plop it on the floor they are very fragile and you can see there there's a peg a port and you just now this part was tricky for me because the coat at the back was hindering me um, connecting it so I had to maneuver the tail just a bit the tail isn't all the way in. He also comes with uh, two left hands, left arms. So one is more like he's raising his gun or he's raising his sword and one is more like a relaxed stance hand. So let's do the raising the gun. So this is the hand for the raising of the gun. There are two. This is one of them. So as you can see, there's a peg, very nicely detailed and everything's magnetized. So you just plug it in, it's good to go. There you go. Next up, we have these chains. These are metal chains. I These are actually metal. They're pretty heavy. So I think you just plop them on the statue and that's it. <laughs> There's really no rhyme or reason how to do it. So you just, I don't know, you just do that and it's good to go. Next up, we have one of his head. This is the more uh, grimacing head sculpts he has. Like he's angry, he's ready for action. Very comic looking, very cartoon. I like this type of style. It's not realistic, but it's cartoony as well, you know? Next up, we have his, um, this is the smoky head sculpt. So as you can see, there is a hole. There we go, a hole in his mouth where you stick the cigarette in. Well, not the cigarette, the cigar, and the cigar is right here which I might lose in a couple of months because it's so small. 
and you just stick it in, he's good to go. The traditional Hellboy look with the cigar. And finally, my all time favorite, the Hellboy with the horns. So this is like him grimacing with the horns. The horns are not fragile. I mean, they're very, very sturdy, so you don't have to worry about it uh, chipping or uh, breaking. Like t the tips are very well constructed, so you don't have to worry about it breaking off. So with that being said, let's stick this traditional Hellboy head onto the statue. Wink. So next we have the Excalibur. This is uh, the the base Excalibur. This is for display only. <laughs> so what I mean is you just stick it on the base because you, as you can see, the tip is missing. And there's a port, you just port it in and it should stay sturdy like that. So it's it just sits like that. So next up, let's switch out his gun hand with the Excalibur hand. So he has two hands for this side, as you can see, as I clumsily stick it in. And you just remove the other Excalibur, and that's him with the sword, if you want to choose to pose him with this. Now the Excalibur port can be covered with this rock. Um, <laughs> I think I did a close-up of how to do that, but uh, there's a port where the sword goes in. And if you take it out, there's a hole, right? So this rock helps cover that hole, essentially. So here's a close up of what I mean. So that's where the sword goes. You can see a hole there. Well, not really, but there is a hole there. So you use the rock to basically cover it up. So it's, it's seamless, really. And there we go. It's good to go. So let's try to stick this other arm onto him. Uh, this was a real bitch to put on. I don't know why, but I really had to use a lot of force to wedge that thing in. I was really sweating at this point. I don't know why they, they doesn't like simply plug in, but you really had to use uh, a lot of force to put that in. And that's him in another like relaxed pose. This is the this is the comic. How do you say the comic cover pose? I guess. So this is him. My second Hellboy statue. My second statue in general. And this thing is impressive. This thing is <laughs> intimidating to me. Like, I own another statue. How stupid is this? <laughs> I have absolutely no room for him, but I don't know. I, I had to get him because he was such a low price. So, yep, he's here with me until the end of days. So here's a close-up of one of his health sculpts, the traditional Hellboy look. This is the angry look, the grimace look, and the horny one. <laughs> now the horns do does come with a uh, flame crown effect, so this is the flame. It's very cartoony, it's not really uh, translucent as the sideshow one. And he does come with a crown, this little, little guy. Now this guy, is, it feels a little light, a little fragile, so be careful with that. And he does have a weird porting system. I'll show you guys that in a little while. So how you connect the flame is he has a hole on his head there. So you just plug in, see if I can focus. Yeah, there's a plug point there and you basically just plug that into his head and he's good to go. I mean, it's not a tight fit, but it just rests on his head. Next up, you have his crown. So you see a hole there, and this crown does have like a little wedge, a, little, a protruding part there. So you basically just rest the crown onto the flame, I think. Because it doesn't really plug in, it just rests on the flame effect. So I, I don't know if I did it right, I just did that. and. <laughs> I think that's correct. So this is how he looks like with the flame, uh, the flame crown. Pretty cool. Not as translucent as the, uh, the sideshow one, but it does do the trick. So this is Hellboy in his hell form, I guess. Just doing another rotation. Was really 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 sweating when I was doing this because this thing is heavy and I was using all 
the strength in my two little fingers to rotate this this tiny stool. <laughs> yeah, this is him. This is the I, this is the pose I ch I choose to have him in. This this one. And he does come with a certificate, and it's signed by Mike Magnolia himself. And mine is number eighty nine from three hundred and fifty. So here's the certificate up close. You can see it's official, I guess. I don't really want to frame this, but there it is. And he also comes with a poster, which I already framed over here. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, here we go. That's the that's the poster he comes with. I wish Mike Magnolia signed this instead of the certificate. I mean, that would be cool if he signed that print itself. But yeah, this is him. This is... The statue I spent money on. <laughs> uh, let's just do a little close up of the Hellboy here. Very nicely done. I mean, it does look cartoony, truthfully, but it, it's done in a way where it's not so obnoxious, if that makes sense. It's not so cartoony. It's like it left out of the comics, you know? I mean, the gun has the metal patina and all that. It does have a bit of weathering on the bags on his uh, coat as well I mean look at the statue and all that look at the leaves look at the skulls I don't know what these dates or the scenery depicts if you guys know let me know is this like the first issue cover of Hellboy or something I'm not well versed in the Hellboy universe I just like the character design and basically his character in general. I mean, the Guillermo del Toro take on Hellboy. I like that one better. The Ron Perlman one, <laughs> not the new one. <laughs> Definitely not the new one. <laughs> so you can see his right hand of doom. Very nicely done, very nicely painted. It's not articulated. It's That's the basic stance it has, so you can't really move it can't really do anything you only get one right hand of doom there's no other ones there's no closed fist ones you just have this one and that's the statue that i was um hoping that what wasn't broken when i was like throwing this thing around in the mall it came out okay i was really really glad it was again if you guys are planning to collect statues make sure you plan out your routes make sure you park your car close to the entrance <laughs> Because uh, my wife was so embarrassed seeing me call this thing and people are looking at me. But you know what? I didn't care. I got this thing for cheap, you know. So I was a happy little, happy little kid. So you have the BPRRP, BPRP logo. Did I say that right? BP, BPRD? I'll have to research that later. And you can see the flame effects. It's very seamless, you know, the plugs on the flame. It looks like it's coming out of his head. You don't really see the plug points. And you can see the the flow of his uh, tattered overcoat. Now his tail isn't plugged in all the way, unfortunately. I don't know why I had trouble with that, but I can't find room to put the torso and the tail together. So I have to unplug the tail just a bit to make them all fit. So the tail is loose on my statue. It's not loose like it wiggles, but it's loose that it's not plugged in all the way. Just another final rotation here. I was, I was, I was like, <laughs> I really wanted to get this done as quick as possible because I, I, I'm just, this thing is going to drop. This thing is going to drop and shatter into a thousand pieces. So I was really rushing at this point to get all the close ups. I think I got it, hopefully. So this is Hellboy. This is the head sculpt I choose. I I always choose the, the hell form of Hellboy. I like the horns on him and this, the flame effect and the skull. <laughs> the crown, I mean. Yeah, and this is him. So let's find a place to put this huge monster. So after... Many days of deliberating, I basically put him where the old Hellboy was because this is the only safe place he can be. I mean, away from the cats, away from me, from bumping into stuff. And yeah, this is it. He's sitting in my living room. 
So just another final close up in natural light, I guess, if you guys want to take a look. I mean, that statue, man, the way that statue is leaning, it makes you feel like it's going to crack or like topple over, but it's not. It's very well constructed, this piece. And I never heard of ACME uh, before. I think they did other statues before, but this is my first um, foray into ACME. And if they do other Hellboy statues, maybe, maybe I might get it, but maybe not. And I put the Sideshow Hellboy here. I think this is still my favorite, honestly. I think this is like my, my favorite because he, he looks more realistic. He looks more grungy. He looks more like, like he's made of stone, you know? And I like the pose he's in as well. It's very dynamic. And you got my rat there interrupting me again. So yeah, this is my little review over the ACME Hellboy statue. Uh, very, very scary, but I'm glad I have him. And yeah, I don't know if I'll collect any more statues. But yeah, thanks for watching. And as always, go get them.